Hello, in this video we will discuss about the Hardy-Weinberg theorem, a Hardy-Weinberg principle. So what is this? So basically it is uh, the frequency of genotypes of non-evolving population are described by Hardy hardy weinberg theorem so in this way the population which that is when uh, contain the same genome in their dna so the same dna will remain in the same population is known as the uh, gene pool because the whole genome is known as the gene pool in the same population but it will not change uh, unless uh, the dif drifting or migration of the individual which containing genome. So let's begin to understand. So the Hardy Weinberg 9098, which that statements frequency of alleles. Alleles means the chromosome contain DNA and DNA contain genes. So the uh, uh, alleles means the two genes, which that is one dominant and one recessive heterozygote or uh, homozygote condition. In this way, the dominant and recessive allele are present in the same population and um, uh, remain constant. So uh, here is the frequency of alleles and genotype in a population gene pool remain constant over the generation unless acted upon by a uh, uh, by agents other than uh, agents other than sexual recombination so the other sexual recombination can change the uh, population uh, gene pool but without other individual it will remain constant so shuffling of alleles due to meiosis and random fertilization has no effect on the overall genetic structure of population but changes will occur due to the another individual when rep uh, when mate with the uh, population from the other place and come to another population so it will give the new recombinant genes so here is the cell which that is contain nucleus first of all we will understand about the gene so here is the uh, nucleus and the vacuole as well as the plasma membrane cytoplasm and cell wall so the nucleus contain all genetic information in the form of chromosome so the chromosome is the condensed formation contain alleles allele means that pair of chromosome which contain pair of gene and it can be homozygous or heterozygous Homozygous mean the same alleles are present and both are dominant and while the heterozygous condition mean the one is dominant and one is recessive. So in this way the blue color of flower are <coughs> green color uh, showing uh, which that is create the recessive and dominant property. So here is first of all we will understand about the gamete formation. So here is the chromosome which that is in the form of pair. For example human being contain 23 pair. So here is the meiosis will give and this pair of chromosome during the replication to become, become a double and crossing over will be occur for the reshuffling and shuffling of the genes. Uh, shuffling of the gene which that is dominant or recessive in the next generation on the basis of their um, dominant and recessive so this is the after the segregation formation after the shuffling to recombinant uh, gamete formation in this way the gamete will be recombine uh, recombine recombine it means the shuffling will be occur and their gene will be shuffle and in this way you can see for, uh, may uh, either uh, recessive or dominant gene of the allele can be happen so in this way here is the gamete formation so let's begin to understand the population first for understanding here is the population one and population two so the barrier are present between both population so the population contain uh, one population contain for example suppose here is the p and q this is the allele and the p and q mean the uh, p can be dominant or q can be dominant so here is the p dominant so in this way the two type of alleles are present for example of the plant 
so this is the gene pool of one population and second population is gene constant without um, changes so when the, uh, when the individual will uh, move to another population so the equili equilibrium will be disrupted while the new gene gene introduction will dis disturb equilibrium on the other hand it will not disturb so the general formula called hardy weinberg uh, equation is used for calculating the frequency of alleles and genotypes in population at equilibrium let's begin to understand with non evolving population in it means the non evolution um, evolution will not occur if the gene will remain constant but it will be disturbed to factor affecting the disturbing uh, of the gene of the gene pool will uh, give the recombination of the individual so for example here is the aa is the dominant homozygote condition which that is i am donating that is 0.64 and the heterozygote heterozygous condition mean the a capital and small is heterozygous 0.32 and the smaller a is the homozygous recessive allele are present so in this way here you can see this is the crossing over will be occur to form a a and smaller a and in this way the 0.8 and 0.2 which that is a combination of the a number we can denote and here is the p plus q is it is the allele equal to the one and we can conclude and uh, uh, um, uh, delete the q, uh, q allele from the p and p allele from the q to give the equation and their information while here the formula is the p square is equal to plus 2 p q plus q2 which that give the uh, total number is one so it is equal to one so let's begin to understand this is the uh, uh, crossing over of the sperm is contain q and p which that is a gamete and o is also contain gamete p and q and in this way here is the crossing over will be a uh, uh, fertilization will be occur and in this way a a formation and it is known as a p square and q p and the p q and q square which that is basically is equal to one and in this way the gene will remain constant uh, throughout the population if the changes will not occur while in the case of factor affecting basically uh, gene frequency mutation a gene a factor affecting of gene frequency is the mutation migration and genetic drift and non-random mating selection so in this way the factor affecting we will discuss with the detail to understand as well what is this in this way you can see and understand that is the non-random mating first so the non-random mating mean the if the non-random mating will not occur so the hardy weinberg theorem will disturb so the uh, evolution will be occur if the hardy weinberg theorem will be disturbed so in this way here is the non-random mating is meaning the inbreeding is the most common form it does not alter allele frequency but lessing the uh, proportion of heterozygote uh, individual and uh, individuals basically uh, with certain genotypes sometimes mate with one another more commonly than uh, than uh, would be um, uh, than would be uh, uh, affected uh, basically is the uh, uh, affected on a random basis so this is the basically is the um, uh, this is the uh, this is called non-random mating and causing the frequency of particular genotypes to differ greatly from those part uh, those uh, uh, pre uh, pre uh, predicted by the hardy weinberg theorem so hardy weinberg principle so in this way the non-random mating will disrupt and disturb the hardy weinberg theorem why because some will not get the chance for the fertilization and mating so in this way the equal equilibrium will not uh, constant while on the other hand the migration is also affect a very potent agent of cha change migration locally act to prevent evolution uh, 
evolutionary changes by preventing population that exchange mem uh, members from uh, diverging from one another and emigration em and immigration of members of population cause the disturbance in disturbance in gene pool so in this way the gene pool will be disturbed and the hardy weinberg theorem will be disturbed and in this way the evolution will be occur due to the recombination of the new gene from the another individual which that is come from the another population so while here is the genetic drift it is called changes in frequency of alleles at a locus that occurs by chance in small population such fluctuation uh, may lead to the loss of particular alleles this may occur in a small population when a few individual fall to reproduce and then uh, uh, reproduce and then genes are lost from the population and the population will be lost due to the some individual will be mate and some not mate in this way the dna will not remain constant and in this way some gene will be dominant more and some will be recessive more so in this way the mutation uh, in this way the hardy weinberg theorem will be disturbed because the crossing over will not constant and the shuffling will not constant and equilibrium will not constant because the some allele will be more dominant so the mutation is the next step is the ultimate source of all changes individual mutation occur so rarely that mutation allow uh, uh, sorry a mutation alone does not changes allele frequency much so in this way the mutation can cause the uh, equilibrium disturb of the hardy weinberg theorem so remember about that selection uh, is the last is the some individual leave beh uh, behind more progeny than others and the rate at which they do so is affected by their inherited characteristics this called selection so the sum selected is known as the evolutionary process will give the advanced uh, animal so that is why the hardy weinberg theorem will inhibit the evolution while the non random mating migration will uh, disturb the hardy weinberg theorem so thanks